to the Kent Lap Podcast. I also want to ask you about what it's like to be a working mom at a kind of a hard charging in a hard charging industry. I mean, you're in the tech industry, and that's a very fast paced kind of hard charging mm-hmm. thing. And you're full time, and you have kids. So, mm-hmm. could we hear a little bit about your work at Ackland Avenue, and then yeah, what it's like to be a full time working mom? Yeah, uh, I am super um, lucky to have landed at Ackland Avenue because it's another. You know, I mentioned um, how I how I felt about AIC Ventures. Ackland Avenue is another um, incredibly supportive. Um, healthy work environment that really invites its people to take ownership of what they're doing um, and uh, to take on as much um, responsibility as as they care to. And I hear all the time the phrase like office politics. There is no office politics at Ackland Avenue. So um, it's uh, it's a really um, caring, supportive work environment. Uh, also that, that gives us, uh, you know, all the team members, a ton of flexibility. So I do have two kids. I've got a, uh, toddler and a baby. Um, and, um, I don't, you know, I, I hear the phrase mom guilt and I understand, uh, why a lot of women experience that. I can't, I don't relate to that very mm-hmm. much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I start to, if I think about it too hard, I start to have mom guilt about not having mom right. guilt. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I, I love being a mom. Mm-hmm. I love being a mom of a toddler. Uh, the highs are very high and the lows are very low, but it is, um, it's just fun. And I, um, really enjoy and delight in my kids, but I also really, uh, enjoy working. I feel gifted in that, in that area. Um, I care about it. Um, I'm, I'm all, I'm, I'm hesitant to say this because, uh, I, there are rightly so a lot of kind of negative stereotypes around it, but I work, uh, part of my job is sales so it will surprise no one to learn that I like making money. I'm financially motivated to, mm-hmm. to, to some extent, and I'm good at making money. Um, and so when I think about my what I, you know, was put on this earth to do, um, one of the ways that I can serve uh, other people and serve my church and serve ministries that I'm interested in and, and believe in is by supporting them financially. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, so I feel a real calling around working. Um, and of course my kids are the most, my primary responsibility, um, second to my marriage. Um, but, uh, my kids' health and happiness and thriving is the most important responsibility that I have. So if I detected that I needed to be a full-time mom, I would do that. Um, For the sake of your kids. Yeah. If you felt like the only apparent way to properly raise these kids and be their mom is to be a full-time mom, then you would be willing to make that decision. Yeah, totally. Yeah, sure without hesitating. I mean, we'd, we'd have to figure some things out, um, practically, but I I know Adam and I would be completely aligned on, um, on that. We've just been very fortunate to find great care for them, especially during, um, coronavirus. We're extremely blessed and grateful to have relatively uninterrupted childcare. Um, and, uh, I believe that it's good for my kids to be around other kids Mm -hmm. when they're in during a time when there's not a lot of opportunity for them to do that. Um, they, we've also been very fortunate to have, uh, caregivers and teachers at their little daycares that my children feel very close to and Mm. that feel very close to my children. Mm -hmm. Um, so those relationships are really meaningful and, 
make me feel okay about having my kids in, in school and daycare. (laughs) 